Hello everybody, my name is Rhiannon. I am a certified nutrition and health coach and I am here today to talk a little bit about one of my favorite controversial topics, whole grains. What the freaking heck is a whole grain? Um, it's labeled everywhere. Um, what's the best whole grain out there? Um, those are huge topics right now. Um, and in fact, a lot of things are really mislabeled and it's kind of unfortunate. So um, I just wanted to go over a few of those for you. This, my friends, is barley. Wow, this is a whole grain. And it doesn't say anywhere that it's a whole grain labeled on the package. So that's unfortunately one of the things that um, kind of gets me a little fired up is that there's so many things that are labeled whole grains that are not a whole grain. It's not a full grain, it's not the whole thing. It's just a bunch of stuff molded together, processed in a factory, and then sold to you, marketed it like it's something healthy. And unfortunately that's cereal. That's, Cereal to a lot of kids. Um, I grew up eating cereal and it's really actually not that good for you. It's a bunch of processed stuff um, that they add sugar to. So unfortunately, this my friends, again, a whole grain, this is barley. This is another great friend of mine. This is steel cut oats. This is a whole grain. There is nothing on the label, ingredients, steel cut oats. That is it. Couscous, this is wheat. This is what wheat should be look like. It shouldn't be in made up into a bunch of breads, into a bunch of cereals. Quinoa is probably one of my favorite whole grains. This is actually a seed, but it's very, very helpful. Um, it definitely can be used as, um, as a whole grain if you want to eat with you know vegetables and meats. Um, it's a much better option than rice. It has the most fiber and the most protein of every grain out there. This also um, can be labeled somewhat healthy jasmine rice. Unfortunately, what they boast about whole grains is they're gonna have good fiber and they are gonna keep you full. This has actually no fiber in it, so it's actually really not that good for you at all. Um, so it's kind of unfortunate about that. Fiber, my friends, the best and easiest way to get fiber, believe it or not, vegetables. Get your kids to eat vegetables. Easiest thing out there. Um, the next best way to really get some great fiber, fruit. Easy, easy peasy. So um, anyways, that's just a little bit of rant about grains right now for you. Um, in my book, Food For You, I have a huge list of grains that you can go through if you've never even heard of these. Some people have never eaten these before. Amaranth, barley, basmati rice, brown rice, corn, chia, kamwa, millet, oats, quinoa, rye, sorghum, spelt, teff, wheat, and buckwheat. Those are all whole grains. Um, so I encourage you to read your labels, really get familiar with what the heck a grain is, whole grain. Um, again, it's a huge controversy and I would rather have people really make good healthy choices with uh, for your family. Again, great for dinner time, lunches, steel cut oats. Choose this in the morning, you guys, instead of some cereal that's been processed with a bunch of chemicals and sugar. Um, if you need to, add a little bit of brown sugar on there if you need to, to have a little sweetener. Regular oats are fine too. This is just a little bit better quality, but it's the real deal. It's the real thing. There's been nothing added to it, which is super, super important. So anyways, I hope you like my little rant today about grains. <laughs> um, again, I go through that a little bit in my book, Food For You, um, which I can post a link to below. Um, if you have any other questions about grains or anything, let me know. Um, I'm, again, it's a huge topic I'm passionate about. I really wanna see people be healthy in the correct way um, and not consume a bunch of processed foods and labels, unfortunately. Um, you can put anything on a label. I've seen gummy bears that said fat free, but in fact it's sugar, which um, spikes your insulin, which causes you to store the sugar as fat, which makes you fat. So, <laughs> right? <laughs> Anyways, hopefully somebody's laughing with me right now. Um, but yes, would love to share um, this video. Share it with your friends if that helps at all. Um, and go shopping and don't just read the label that says whole grain, buy the whole grain itself. Again, my, my favorite for breakfast, still cut oats, quinoa. If you want, if you like wheat, buy, buy the actual wheat, not bread that's got a bunch of other processed stuff in it. Make sure it's a whole wheat. Barley, there's so many great recipes you guys can use for these. Um, I'll definitely share a few for you as well. Um, hopefully this helps. If you're interested in my book, Food For You, um, I'll have a link to it on my website. Um, hopefully you guys got a little bit of value out of this and um, we'll talk to you soon.